Right from the start of the tournament, there would be a major upset on the men's side of the draw. If Stefan Edward, the number one player in the world, was knocked out in the first round by Alexander Volkov. Edberg, who had been to the finals at two Grand Slams earlier that year, was tipped as a possible favorite for winning the title. With Edberg now out of the event, this left a big opening for tour veteran John McEnroe, who was quick to pounce on the opportunity as he eliminated his first round opponent, Javier Sanchez, in straight sets. Meanwhile, Agassi would face off against Grant Connell in the first round. Connell was outclassed by Agassi's quickness and sublime passing shots. He would go on to defeat the Canadian straight sets. The second round would bring more of a challenge for Agassi in the form of the 6'3", Peter Korda. Korda was a very talented shot maker with powerful ground strokes. Though he had a reputation for being a bit erratic, he showed up to play Agassi on this night with his best level. After narrowly winning the first set from Korda, Agassi would drop serve against the Czech late in the second set, allowing Korda to level the match at one set all. Agassi would then get into a heated argument with a chair umpire over a line call late in the set which nearly resulted in him getting defaulted from the tournament. He was, however, able to regroup from this and successfully put Korda away to reach the third round. After defeating Franco Devine in the third round, Agassi would square off against fellow American Jay Berger for a place in the quarterfinals. The 23-year-old Berger was known for his unorthodox serve and mental toughness on the court. Though he was able to trade shots with Agassi from the baseline for most of the first set, the high level of play would eventually take its toll on Berger, who would fall to the younger American in straight sets. The results of the tournament so far had appeared to be lining up in Andre's favor. The waiting for him on the other side of the draw was his biggest challenge yet.